Whether you have solar panels on your van or your RV or in a remote location on your cabin, this is a solution for you. One of the hardest things about doing an off-grid system, whether it's on a van or a remote location, is that there's potentially changing environments and a lot of shading. Or you might be parked in a position where one panel's shaded all day, but the other isn't. Your system will still work, it'll still produce electricity, but you're losing a lot of power because of how the system's designed. Essentially what happens is when you have a series of solar panels all connected together, one solar panel that's producing less electricity can bring down the the amount of electricity that the entire series is producing. This can be circumstantial because you have two different types of solar panels where one is higher output than the other, or it could be a situation where one's shaded or one is broken. Adding a Tygo power optimizer, it's going to do two things. It's going to make sure that that panel that's producing less electricity is producing the maximum amount of power possible. And it's also going to turn off that panel if it's producing so little power that it's just better if it just wasn't on the circuit. I have two solar panels right here that are in direct sunlight. Both of them are producing about 40 volts. I'm going to take the Tygo TS40 optimizer and I'm going to plug in one of the panels. Now, what I'm going to do is take the optimizer and plug it into the other panel. We've got a rat's nest of wires here, but essentially what we have is two panels in series and we're measuring the voltage. Each panel is producing about uh, 30 to 40 volts and together we have 74.3. If I take a piece of plywood and I shade this panel to decrease the amount of electricity that it's producing, I'll look over at the volt meter and I'll have 57.9 volts. So what that power optimizer is doing is getting the maximum amount of electricity out of this solar panel considering the situation that it's in being partially shaded. When you have solar panels in series, the voltage is additive. You have, you know, 30 to 40 volts here, 30 to 40 volts on the next panel. Together, you should have that, you know, 70 to 80 volts. But we see it's, it's reducing the voltage out of the panel with the optimizer that's being shaded. And that's evidence that it's maximizing the amount of electricity, the amount of wattage that it's producing by playing with that power curve. This is a little bit more technical, but essentially what you have is what's called a power curve. You have your volts on one axis, your amps on the other axis, and volts times amps equals watts. So what this panel is doing is it's decreasing the amount of voltage, increasing the amount of amperage, and putting out the maximum amount of wattage for the solar panel. Now, if I continue to shade this solar panel, Go back over to the voltmeter. You see we have like about 38.5 volts. If I disconnect this panel and measure the voltage of this panel alone, we have the 38.5 volts there. In this situation, we have enough obstructions on the solar panel simulating shading that this device actually turned it off. It shut off that solar panel, you know, took it out of the uh, series of panels and let the voltage just pass right through. Essentially what this device is, is a universal MPPT. You can add it to all the solar panels on your system. You could add it to just one of the solar panels that is like continually shaded or is producing less power for whatever reason, whether it's a manufactured defect, a less efficient solar panel, or, you know, whatever shading circumstances. 